Well, the first force that we need to pay more attention to is the social force. We have social ills that are driving far more morbidity and early mortality than anything in the medical domain. So whether it's uh, the marginalized people, uh, and we'll have more of those, we'll have ecological refugees, uh, it's the inability of us, our social world to improve that's keeping us from being healthy. The other things are actually the natural. Uh, so the natural world is changing, climate change being a part of that, the uh, pathogens that are able to mutate and evolve faster than humans. And so we have an obligation to learn to keep up. Science is a vital form of learning. It is actually in its own developmental stage from the fairly simple science of uh, cause and effect into a far more complex and interdisciplinary form. And I think that's a vital part of our learning. Well, the first issue in distribution is moral. And unless you tap into the fundamental morality that crosses all wisdom traditions, you will not get to the kind of wise distribution that addresses the profound need for fairness in our society. So that's critical, especially in healthcare. Typically uh, and historically, those societies fail. Uh, that they fail from within and typically then give way to something from without, something external overtakes them. So I think for anybody who expects to contribute to a better world in 2045, there are some key challenges. The first one is a learning challenge. Uh, we have to learn at a faster rate. And that means we're gonna have to learn from more people accept the diversity of views and the experiences, and we're gonna to have to learn with new technologies. That's critical. If we can learn at a faster rate, we can succeed as a society. Well, let's begin with old skills, uh, because uh, you don't wanna throw away what has worked most profoundly. Uh, and that comes down to all of the healing arts are based on a, an ability to love, to develop faith and hope in people who need healing, uh, to feel the awe of nature and its role in healing. So we have to uh, accept that the old arts of medicine are going to be as vital. And then the second is to adapt the new knowledge and the new learning. And that overwhelms any one human capacity. So that's why medicine is reorganizing in healthcare in order to bring the disciplines and the different knowledge bases together. So uh, that's the new knowledge, and it means the new technologies, which is going to mean artificial intelligences, which are expanding to deal with emotional intelligence as well as cognitive. Uh, it's the new tools. Uh, and then it's the intergenerational learning. Uh, optimally, we get the wisdom of the elders combining with the new learning rates of the youth. What happens when machines actually dominate systems and drive out human factors uh, is you get improved efficiency but loss of effectiveness. And so one of the keys is to bring in technologies with the intention to have our humanity 
uh, actually elevated. Uh, and it takes a lot of care and forethought to do that. So if you just introduce a technology without being aware of the secondary effects, you actually diminish the quality of human interaction. I think that um, all professions have to maintain a deep commitment to an ethic that is an enduring quality that takes from the past what is best and assures that what will emerge from the future in the form of visions of how a profession evolves, uh, that's the crucial process. When you ask about control of destiny, I think you invite fantasy. Uh, that what leadership does is it gives up control for influence. And the ability to influence our future as we grow to 9 billion people on this planet means that we're going to have to work through new means. We're going to have to use networks. We're going to have to use the leadership tools of a vision that can engage more and more people through various media. And that's the key to our destiny. Human destiny is a collective phenomenon. It is not individual, but it does rely on individuals going beyond the boundaries that constrain them. And control is an illusion in this complex world.